Hello traders, welcome back to your channel. Today we are diving into a topic that often sparks a lot of discussions among traders. MetaTrader 4 versus MetaTrader 5. Both platforms are widely used, but they have some key differences. Let's break it down to help you decide which, uh, which one might be the better fit for your trading style. Stick around because by the end of this video, you will have a clear picture of MT4 versus MT5. So now let's uh, start uh, the video. So now, first of all, we will talk about the parent company. Both for MT4 and MT5, we have the MetaPort Software Corporations, which has headquarters in Limassol and Cyprus, is the parent company. So as we can see here, we have the parent company, MetaPort Software Corporations, for both MT4 and MT5. Now, next point is release year. MT4 was released in 2005, and MT5 was released in 2010 and next point is support instruments so what are the instruments that you can trade on mt4 and what are the instruments that you can trade on mt5 so mt4 was initially designed for forex trading but nowadays it also supports like uh, cryptos energy stocks and indices and uh, mt5 supports a lot of uh, you know a wide range of uh, instruments like forex cryptos energy stocks and indices so let's go to the platform and see you know what are these options available and where it, where we can access them so now here we are on mt5 platform and if you go to uh, view sections and click on the symbols then you can find out that you know we have the different uh, you know instrument types so like if you click on the forex you can see the different forex pairs and if you click on any forex pairs and click ok so that will be added here in the uh, a market watch section so basically you can use and uh, and basically you can trade that uh, you know from uh, the market watch section so you can see we also have like a cryptos if you click on the cryptos we can see the different cryptos available we have the indices like you know german 30 france 40 so we have the different indices available here we have the different stocks available here as you can see you can click any of them and press ok so that will come here in the market watch section for you to trade now let's go to MT4 terminal as well and see where we can find these uh, instruments. So right now we are on MT5 terminal and same like MT5. If you go to view, you can come to the symbols and once you press the symbols, then you can see we have the different types of uh, instrument types. So first of all, like Forex group. If you click on the Forex group, you can see a lot of the Forex pairs. So you can click any of the Forex pairs and if you press the uh, a show so that will come here in the market watch section and you can just uh, uh, trade that so other than the forex you could we have the cryptos you can see we have the different uh, you know crypto pairs available and we have uh, like uh, energy so you want to trade uk oil us oil and indices we have the different indices as well like german 30 and us 30 us 500 and uh, you can go to stocks as well so you choose any of the stocks you want to trade and press show and that will come here in the market watch section for you to trade so now let's come to our next point for the comparison and that is time frame so on mt4 we have the nine time frames are uh, basically nine inbuilt time frames as we can see m1 m5 m15 m30 h1 h4 daily weekly and monthly and on MT5, we have 21 time frames. So as we can see here, we have the minutes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, M10, M12, M15, M20, M30, then H1, H2, H3, H4, H6, H8, H12, and then daily, weekly, and monthly. Now let's go to the terminal of MT4 and MT5 to see these uh, uh, trading uh, time frames. So right now, we are on MT4 terminal and we can see, you know, here we have the different time frames. So M1, M5, M15, 30, and all the nine time frames are which we can see here. If you go to uh, like right click here, go to the customize section, you can see here that we have no more time frames available and all the time frames are already selected here. Now let's go to MT5 terminal to see the same information. Now we are on the MT5 terminal and we can see we have all the 21 time frames available here for M1, M2, M3, M4 and uh, M30, H1, H4 and the daily, weekly and monthly. Again, if you, you right click here and go to the customize, you will see that there is no more time frame available on the left hand side and I have selected all the time frames, you know, which you can see here on this screen. 
Now, the next point is order type. So what are the different order types we have in MT4 and MT5? So on MT4, we have the market order types and in pending orders, we have four types of order types supported, buy limit, sell limit, and uh, so like as we can see here, we have the buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, and sell stop. And other than that, we have the market orders. In MT5, we have all the order types which are supported by the MT4. Plus, we have two more order types which are buy stop limit and sell stop limit. So now let's go to the terminal and see where we have these order types. So now we are on MT4 terminal and on the market order section. If you click on any of the appear and just do right click, you will see the order type like new order. So click on that new order and uh, this window is going to pop up to where we have the you know forex pairs and the volume and quantity everything so here in this section type we have the market execution so if you want to execute it like on the market price whatever the price we have at that time you know that will be executed other than that you know we can also select the pending orders in pending orders we have these four types in mt4 where we have the buy limit sell limit buy stop and sell stop now let's go to uh, MT5 terminal to see this information. So now we are on MT5 terminal and uh, same like uh, MT4. Let's click on any pair and uh, do the right click. So new order type. So we will see that we have the pair there, market execution again as we had in uh, MT4. And if we go to the pending order, so after like selecting the pending order from the drop down, we can come to this section. So here we can see that in MT4 we had four options buy limit sell limit buy stop and sell stop so here we have two more options buy stop limit and sell stop limit so that is about the different order types now let's go to our next uh, point for the comparison so our next point is uh, hedging and netting so both mt4 and mt5 supports hedging and netting and in hedging we can open buy and the sell position at the same time for any instrument in netting we can either select the buys or the sell order so that can be one order or the multiple orders right so that is about the hedging and now let's talk about our next point for the comparison which is the market depth now in uh, mt4 and mt5 both support the market depth so now, now let's go to the terminal and see you know how we can check this information so first of all we are on the mt5 terminal and what we can do we can come to the market watch section so we can click on any of the pair where we want to see the market depth. Just right, right click and you can come here. We, you will see the depth of market. So you click on that and you will see that we have the different price, uh, uh, different prices. And here on this uh, trade column, you will see that it's a blank now. But if you see that uh, during the live market, you will find the different uh, order numbers here. So, so basically with the market depth you can see that at what particular price point we have any basically how many you know orders we have from the uh, traders and uh, institutional traders so now let's go to mt5 in mt5 we can go to check the market depth like uh, in two ways either we can come to view and uh, you know come here at depth of the market so we can choose the pair where we want to see the depth of the market or we can come here you know click on any pair and just right click and uh, you can also you know come here depth of the market that will show the same information we have the price points and you know in this column uh, during the live market we will see the different number of orders available our next point is a scripting languages so like in mt4 and mt5 if you are creating your uh, like ea expert advisor so basically we have the different languages in mt4 we use the mql4 language and uh, in MT5, we use MQL5 language for creating um, expert advisor. So MQL5 is a like advanced version of uh, MQL4, and it is more efficient and basically advanced language. So next point is economic calendar. In MT4, there is no inbuilt economic calendar where you can see the different uh, economic news. But in MT5, we have uh, uh, the economic calendar, basically inbuilt economic calendar available. So now let's go to the different. Uh, uh, terminal to see this information so here we are on the mt4 terminal and we can see here on the you know in down section there is no uh, calendar options so now here in uh, mt5 we can see that we have the calendar option here and uh, you know we have this here so like oh, for monday 22nd of january we can see these are the different uh, 
um, I mean currencies and these are the different news available for these currencies and here we have the severity like uh, the gray is for the low severity news or basically low impact news orange is like medium impact news and red one is like um, you know high impact news so here we can see the information the previous uh, you know values and forecast value and the actual value when the news will come out so so basically you can access the economic calendar right here in mt5 terminal but is not possible in mt4 so our next point is one click trading and uh, both mt4 and mt5 supports the one click trading so let's go to the terminal to see this information so here we are on the mt4 terminal and we can see that you know we have this window so we can hide this here from here as well so once this is available so what we can do one click trading means we can uh, just uh, do trading we can open uh, buy or sell you know by just clicking one button so what we can do you we know the pair here so basically you know whatever pair you want uh, uh, to um, like trade so we have to select the chart of that pair and then we have to select the quantity whatever quantity we want to buy or sell if you want to buy you have to click on this section if you want to sell you have to click on these sections and immediately that uh, you know trade will be opened if you come to mt5 section here as well here you will also see this is the market depth and uh, here we have that if you just click on this one so this window is going to pop up so again you know we know that uh, the chart open this is uh, the trading pair that we can open the trade for for the one and we have to select the quantity so if you want to buy you have to click here if you want to sell you have to uh, click here to open a particular trade so now let's conclude the mt4 and mt5 comparison so if we talk about the main differences between mt4 and mt5 so the first difference is in like uh, uh, the time frame so here in uh, mt4 we have only nine time frames like as we can see here but in mt5 we have the 21 time frames available again the next difference is in the market order so here we have the market order plus we have the pending orders basically four pending orders here we have two extra orders in mt5 other than the um, mt4 and uh, the next difference is in the language mql4 and mql5 then the next difference is in the calendar we don't have the economic calendar in mt4 and we have the economic calendar in mt5 available so that's it guys this was a small comparison video on the mt4 and mt5 i hope you enjoyed the video if you really did like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel in order to support the channel and youtube algorithm thank you very much see you in another video